standard form and expanded form. In this module, you will learn to write the standard form and expanded form of a number. Look at Neil. He has collected some straws. He has three of them in one hand and a bundle of tens in his other hand. How many straws did Neil collect? Can you answer? Thirteen. Do you know what standard form of a number is? Standard form of a number is a form in which we normally write or speak about that number. It is also the reverse of the expanded form. Here, Neil collected 10 plus 3 straws. Let us write it down in standard form. 10 plus 3. Starting from the lowest value, how many ones are there? There are 3 ones and there is 1 10. So, let's put the digits at their correct places. We have 3 ones. So, 3 comes at the ones place. Next, we have 1 tens. So, 1 comes at the tens place. What do we get? 13. So, 13 is the standard form of 10 plus 3. Now, if Neil had a bundle of hundreds, 5 bundles of tens and 6 loose straws, then how many straws must he have collected in all? He must have collected one bundle of hundreds. One, two, three, four and five. Five bundles of tens. And one, two, three, four, five and six. Six loose straws. So, he must have collected 100 plus 50 plus 6 straws. Let us write it down in standard form. Starting from the lowest value, how many ones are there? There are 6 ones. So, 6 goes to ones place. How many tens are there? There are 5 tens. So, 5 goes to tens place. Lastly, how many hundreds are there? There is only one hundred. So, one goes to hundreds place. What do we get? We get 156. Now, do you know what expanded form of a number is? Let us take a number 23. 20, 3, 2, and 3. Here, 3 is at the 1's place and 2 is at the 10's place. Now, think about what does it really mean. If 3 is at the 1's place, 3 literally represents 3 1's. It is actually 1 plus 1 plus 1. We can also say it as 3 times 1. What does the 2 represent? It represents 2 tens. 10 plus 10 makes 2 tens. So, we can say the same thing. That is 2 times 10. So, we can write 23 as the sum of 20 and 3. So, you can consider this as expanded form of the number 23. Or, we can also write it as 2 times 10 plus 3 times 1. So, both of these can be considered as expanded form. Now, let us see another example. Say, 140. 140. Here, 0 is at the 1's place, 4 is at the 10's place and 1 is at the 100's place. 0 represents 0 1's, 4 represents 
four tens and one represents one hundreds. So, either of these can be said to be the expanded form, the number one hundred forty. Let's recap. Standard form of a number. Expanded form of a number. 